So for the Yorkshire Cup next then, and a rather small field for this, only six, which is something of a surprise. And it's a group two, and the top one is best mates for Graham Clutterbuck, Cabo Zarad, Darren Thompson, Fugitive Demand, Leon Van Rensburg, Ledger Way, David Hooley, Locomotive Leipzig, Padraig Hogan, and sealed his fate, Joshua Sutherland. So I expected a bigger field. And six for this, but six we've got. It looks like we've got six good ones, and away they go. And a little bit slow out ledger way, but that one's quite obviously bred for the trip with a name like that, isn't it? So fugitive demand has gone on then by about half a length to best mates in second. And then Cabo Zarad nearest to us in the white sleeves, the black and the red hoops have sealed his fate. The yellow with the black of locomotive Leipzig, Padre Hogan today, and ledger way. Or David Hooley in the purple at the back then, so already through the first quarter mile. And Fugitive Demand is in the lead, and I've not been in the vicinity of Leon Van Rensburg after the last race. I'm sure the jockey got a total roast in, but it's Fugitive Demand who's in the lead, and hopefully his jockey will be somewhat better behaved this time. Cabo Zarad is second, single his fate is third, best mates is fourth on the rail, and then Ledger Way. And finally, Locomotive Leipzig just at the back. Yeah. Travelling pretty smoothly, happy enough with their positions by the looks of things. With Fugitive Demand clear by four, possibly even five. Sealed his fate, and Cabo Zarad disputing the second with Ledger Way in between the two of them, and then tucked on the inside of the rail. Best mates, in fact, it's virtually four on a line there. With just locomotive Leipzig at the back, but that one is now being pulled out to go and join them, I think. So we could have a situation where we've got Fugitive Demand in the lead and then five in a line. But they're past the seven pole, and Fugitive Demand is clear in the lead. And chased by the remainder. Oh, back to four in a line again with locomotive Leipzig just tucked in behind. But they're all still in this, all still in with a chance. It wouldn't want anything. Out of it as yet, Cabo Zarad is the first one to break away from the pack and come through to try and challenge the leader. But Fugitive Demand just been kept up to his work by the jockey. Cabo Zarad in second, then comes Sealed His Fate. Best Mates on the inside is next, and then comes Ledger Way. Locomotive Leipzig still at the back, but Fugitive Demand is too clear of Cabo Zarad and Sealed His Fate. They've still got three and a half furlongs to go. And Fugitive Demand has led all the way so far. A race is now well and truly on past the three. And Fugitive Demand is three or four clear of Cabo Zarin on the inside of Seal is fake. Best mates between the two of them. Then Ledger Way trying to run on Locomotive Leipzig. Just caught a bit flat footed. has got work to do. Past the two. Fugitive Demand is still four clear of Seal is fake. And Cabo Zarin, they don't appear to be getting much closer. But now Cabo Zarin starts to make ground. And so too does Ledger Way and Best Mates. And suddenly Fugitive Demand treading water. And Cabo Zarin. Zarad sweeps into the lead inside the final furlong and Cabo Zarad has got one eye on the post and his four lengths clear and racing up towards the line Cabo Zarad mercilessly takes this one from best mates in second then third was Ledger Way sealed his fate fugitive demand dropped right out of it and Locomotive Leipzig was the last one past the post and when he said go on Cabo Zarad that was it race over and Cabo Zarad takes it good three or four lengths Cabo Zara, the winner then for Darren Thompson, best mate second for Graham Clutterbuck, Ledger away for David Hooley was third, sealed his fate Joshua Sutherland fourth, and long time leader fugitive demand for Leon Van Rensburg was only fifth.